Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a little update that I did on my external serial monitor and uh, I'm going to show you a AT Tiny 85 running with soft serial showing a bunch of numbers on the uh, thermal serial the external serial monitor and there's a little problem that I um, that I actually notice and here we go I'm just gonna power this up and it, there we go it's the scrolling text so I thought to myself well there's lots of character in the ASCII table that I can use that uh, don't do anything and you don't really use them for uh, displaying text or anything so I decided to use one and uh, I've embedded it in the code already I did that yesterday so I'm gonna show you uh, the new result I'm just gonna program my uh, and what I did is right here um, I display the character 2 which is technically it's uh, supposed to be start of text or start of a line or something in the ASCII table uh, so it's really rare that you'll use that as a normal as a normal text so I'm gonna upload it and uh, we'll see what it actually does in in the serial monitor instead of having a bunch of scrolling text uh, it actually uh, what it does is as soon as the serial monitor see the uh, character 2 what it does is it clears the screen and it puts the cursor back to zero and then it start displaying the text so if you're displaying three four five or six line of text well actually it doesn't scroll uh, all over and it's just it stays uh, exactly there so it actually makes the reading a little bit easier especially when you're um, you're displaying fast uh, refresh of course I don't really intend on having uh, the refresh that goes very higher than uh, a second so my AT Tiny is program and we're gonna go on and power it up and as we can see it is way better now we can actually see uh, the text even though it's not displayed for a long time for the one second but uh, it's still pretty good it's, it makes the um, reading way easier and also you can actually put in order a bunch of text and it'll just keep displaying these text in the order you want it and for those who are curious about this code that's running it's uh, on my Jeep I have a set of uh, fog light that are attached to my addition to my uh, original fog light and I wanted to something to turn on and off uh, as an the approaching vehicle comes in because they are uh, 10 watt LED each so they're pretty powerful so I'm trying to make a little code that will uh, kind of self adapt itself and it will turn on uh, my actual add-on to my fog light just to make it uh, more interesting so now I just need to test that code on the road and we'll see how it goes alright thanks for watching